What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to install your TV on a stucco concrete wall outside your pool patio or your patio. You're gonna need some sealant, a fire TV stick, preferably. So you don't have to run any cable lines. Your TV, I got a what, 26 inch TV, a Walmart for $88. I got my, my bits right here, level, drill, measuring tape, wrench and you're gonna need some Tapcon screws. These are masonry screws. And of course, a concrete drill bit. And we have the mount right here. This is an arm mount, so we can adjust it, swing it out. Uh, I tightened up all the bolts, so it's very, very stiff. So if a gust of wind blows through my patio, it's not gonna smash the TV against the concrete wall or my window that I have nearby. I would tighten all the bolts like right along here. You may need you may need an Allen key right here on one side and a wrench on the other side, but I already tightened these. But I highly suggest you tighten them so it takes force to move these joints. This is the tilt right here. I have a slight tilt. So if I'm gonna mount it like that, I wanna tilt it slightly forward so the sun doesn't, I, I don't get a reflection from the sun. So tilting it forward is probably best in my opinion. I want to mount it relatively kind of low just because I don't want my power cable hanging from the wall too high up. I could put a six foot uh, wire concealer track to cover that power cable later on. Always mount the TV under an awning or some kind of covering and of course have a TV cover because even though it's under a covering Condensation can build up on the TV and destroy the TV within a few months. Next, you want to get a measurement from the bottom of the TV. All right, so I got an Allen key right here. And let's go ahead. And we're going to take this piece off, actually. go and then we're going to mount it right here So I'm going to close the mount right here and then I'm going to get a measurement of the top screw that is 8 inches to the bottom of the TV. So you want the top screw to the bottom of the TV 8 inches. So I'm using the smoke cooker for a reference, the top of it. Uh, you can use the floor for a reference. So I got a measurement of 2 feet right here. And that's the bottom of the TV. Now I want to add eight more inches to that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's where I want to put my top screw. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that. Unlike a wood bit, which has a tip like this, a masonry bit has an arrow shaped head tip. Now a hammer drill is best, but this is not a hammer drill. So I'm going to show you a technique I use. Before I had it on a low setting, low torque setting because I didn't want to damage the TV. So now I'm on a drill setting. And you want to keep the drill very level and lean into it. Like put your body weight behind the drill. Palm strikes on the drill helps break up the concrete. Next, I'm gonna fill it up with sealant. I'm using a 5 16th magnetic socket. Comes with a DeWalt drill bit set. You may need washers with your Tapcons, but these Tapcons you don't. And you don't want to over tighten it because you can strip out the hole. So make sure you have it on a low setting.
Now after you seal the bottom hole, you want to screw in that Tapcon screw, but not all the way because we still need to level the mount. I'm going to extend the mount all the way out so I can install that TV, do last minute leveling, and lock it up. After you tighten the screw, you want to slide on that TV, you want to line up the holes. After you line up the holes, you want to slide in the bolt. It's probably best to use two people, but since this TV is so small, I'm doing this by myself. Let's go ahead and tighten that snug. And you can still move it, but you have to move it with force. Now I'm going to put on the Fire TV stick. This is how we watch TV. We use Hulu TV. You can also use YouTube TV. And um, Amazon's coming out with the TV service too. Go ahead and plug that in, and I'm going to use the USB port on the TV. I highly suggest getting a TV cover because condensation does build on the TV over time. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that may be interested in this video, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. Subscribe, hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks, guys.